What's up, YouTube? Divine Deck here. Um, I'm sorry I've had some technical difficulties with uploading videos. I tried to upload my fairy deck slash light monster deck earlier, but something happened and my YouTube wigged out. So, uh, yeah. But I tr I got everything sorted out, so I'll be doing that right now. Uh, awkward time, I know, but whatever. Um, so yeah, let's get right down to it, and if you like my videos and want me to keep making more, please subscribe. So, I chose to put a Valkyrie of the Nordic Descendant in here. Kind of random, but I didn't have very many fairy monsters to choose from, so I figured I'd put her in there. One of my favorite fairy monsters is Dunamis Dark Witch. She's pretty powerful. Um... 1800 attack but her effect says even when all odds are against this brave fairy she will press onwards in battle and never retreat I threw this guy in here he's kind of a weird looking picture but you know he's level 4 and he'll help me get some things out and he's got 1400 attack so I mean it's not that bad and uh I put three star seraph scouts in there to where I can get these Star Seraph Sages and Star Seraph Swords out because his effect allows you to, when he's summoned, you can summon any Star Seraph monster from your hand. Well, special summon, I should say. And I put Vylon Soldier and Vylon Stella in there simply because I've always liked these Vylon monsters. They're always really cool, but they never really got uh, a lot of support, so. And there's not really that many high level monsters in there. Uh. So, and then, uh, I chose to put Little Fairy in there, because up to twice per turn, you can send this card, send one card from your hand to the graveyard, increase this card's level by one. So, I mean, that can come in handy. Um, I threw in Honest, because he's level four, and he's got some really good defense. He's got 1,900 defense. So, yeah, he's pretty good. And I threw in... Bright Star Dragon, because he's just awesome. Like, I mean, that picture just looks awesome. And, uh, before I continue, one thing I need to talk to you guys about is if my camera, if you hear tapping on the screen, or tapping in the video, uh, you can go ahead and exit out of that. It means my camera's wigged out and it won't shut off the video, and it could keep recording for up to 10 minutes. So, if I tell you the video is over and the video just keeps going on, you can go ahead and exit out. That's what happened with my, when I tried to upload this, that's what happened. And then my YouTube wigged out, so it was two strikes. But anyway, next I threw an Alexandrite Dragon and Kaiser Seahorse. You can't have a light deck without Kaiser Seahorse's effect rules. He counts as two tributes for the summoning of a light monster. And then I threw in Mirage Dragon. He's awesome. I've always loved his effect. Your opponent can't activate trap cards during the battle phase. So that's a plus. And then I threw in another Light Dragon. White Dragon Wyver Buster. And the reason I put these uh, uh, Light Dragon type monsters in there. Is so I could bring out this guy right here. Ma'at. This guy's awesome. Uh... I don't know if you guys can tell it, but doesn't that look like uh, the Millennium Rod, and then the Millennium Key, then the Millennium Puzzle, the Millennium Ring, the Millennium Necklace, the Millennium Eye, the Millennium Scales, and yeah, I don't know if I'm leaving anything out. But yeah, there's the Millennium Eye, Millennium Rod, Millennium Key. Millennium Scales, Millennium Puzzle, Millennium Necklace, and Millennium uh, Ring. So yeah, that guy's pretty awesome. Um, and then I chose to put three Splendid Venuses in my deck. Because her effect is awesome. Or his or her. No, that's a her. Anyway, her effect is um, all non-fairy type, non type monsters lose 500 attack and defense. The activation and effect of trap cards and spell cards you control cannot be negated so that's always awesome it's 
Sorry, my. Anyway, I chose to put Arcana Force X, the light and dark ruler, in there. Uh, because, well, they've got 4,000 attack and defense, and, um, uh, you don't have to wait the turn you get all three monsters out. You can automatically tribute them and special summon it, so that's pretty cool. Um, next I put Aeronite Parsha in there. Um, her effect's pretty awesome. Her, his, or her, whatever. Um, she count, er, uh, she can attack a defense monster, and the difference is Delta's damage. So that's always awesome. Yep, my bad. And this guy. Uh, Master Hyperion. I don't know if I pulled this in the video that I did the, uh, um, gold series boxes. But, uh, I must have pulled it sometime when I was doing a gold series. But, um... But yeah, I thought I'd throw that in there. That looks awesome. And then I put, uh... Heretic Dragon of Est and of Nebethit. Or whatever that is. To help get that at out. Or however you pronounce that. And then I threw in Phantom Dragon. Because he's pretty good. Oh. But yeah. He's pretty good. He's got like 2300 defense. It's pretty awesome. And then I threw in <laughs> one of my favorite dragon monsters. This guy. Rabid Dragon. He's so awesome. Listen to this. He's got 2,950 attack and 2,900 defense. It's a snow field dwelling, giant ear sporting... Super acoustic snowball shaped mutant dragon. There's no way anyone can escape. That is just awesome. And next I put in White Knight Queen. Because she's awesome. Uh, once per turn you can target one set card. Destroy that target. So that's pretty good. And now. Uh, we're on to spells. Sorry, there's something irritating me. Anyway, um, I put Regeki because that's just such an awesome card. And then I chose to put Pot of Avarice. You gotta have that in there because you get two pluses. And Silver's Cry to help get that uh, snowflake dwelling acoustic dragon or whatever out. And I put Fairy Meteor Crush. To go with that Air Knight sh Parsha. Shield and Sword. Magical Stone Excavation. That's always an awesome card to have in your deck. Heavy Storm. Rules. Dark Hole's always awesome. Shrink. Gotta have that Kaiba card. Full Force Strike. I love that card. Xyz Reception. That's an awesome card too. Now we're on to the... Uh, Traps, and then we'll go from there. All right, traps. I put zero gravity in there to help with those powerful monsters with no defense. Uh, a hero emerges, classic GX card. Got to have Call of the Haunted in there. Trap hole. I can't tell me. I can't tell you how many times this has saved me in a duel. Uh, gravity bond. That's also an awesome card. Cloning. To where your opponent can't do nothing. And one of my favorite trap cards in here. Commander of Swords. Commander of Swords. When your opponent draws for their normal draw. In their draw phase. They reveal the card or cards they drew. Then if any is a spell or trap card. You apply one of these effects. Discard all cards they drew. Destroy one spell and trap card they control. So that's an awesome card. Magic Jammer. I know I had this in my Photon deck, but it's just an awesome card. The huge revolution is over. It says, when a spell, trap, or monster effect is activated that destroys two or more cards on the field, negate the activation, and if you do, banish it. 
half or nothing. Another card I had in there with my Photon deck. Adhesion Trapple. And Divine Wrath. Looks like I missed two uh, spell cards. Monster Reborn and Mini Guts. I don't know how that happened, but whatever. Okay, and now on to the extra deck. Um, I put in a good few cards. Um, or, uh, yeah. Let me get it here. Okay, so I put Princess Cologne in there, kind of random, I know. And number 63, Shimoji Soldier. I don't really care for that card, but it was a fairy, so I had to throw it in there. Star, or, uh, number 104, Star Seraph Sentry. That's a good card. Uh, number 39, Utopia. I do not have Utopia Ray V, but I do have Utopia Ray and Utopia Ray Victory. I also have number 44, Sky Pegasus. Number, un er, uh, Unformed Void. Hang on a second. Okay. But Unformed Void's always awesome because they can't destroy it. And anyway, uh, number 104, Masquerade. I love that card. And one of my favorite easy to get out cards, Photon Papri Operative. And number 10, Illuminite. Gotta have that kite card. Gonna have that kite card. Okay, well, uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, let me know if, you, if there's anything special you want me to open. I'll see if I can get my hands on it. And stay tuned for tomorrow. I will be opening a special Yu-Gi-Oh! box to uh, apologize for the um, uh, technical difficulties. And be sure and check that out. That'll be around 5 o'clock. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys later.